<laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And I did want to catch up, or oh, maybe I didn't, uh, with a mukbang that Chantel, our friend Foodie Beauty, has just put out. And it should be just called Diabetes Type 2. Who? <sighs> it is obviously that I was reading recently around people who are not interested in making any type of changes, and it's because Chantel perceives anything around health as being unexciting, as something that is not desirable, as something that is unappealing, and so it seems that she is coming in for a Syrian broasted chicken mukbang so crispy. And there is nothing in this meal that would be recommended by her diabetes type 2 educator or anybody who is in a, a weight management clinic. Uh, but before we do that, let me just make sure I get out my disclaimers. And I wanted to talk a little bit, too, about why somebody like Chantel is wanting to eat at midnight, which she was up at midnight. That is the time zone that her body has got accustomed to. And she is always up at these really late night hours and wanting to grab something to eat. And there is a biological reason for that. And I'm going to let a smart doctor talk about that. But before we do, let me just make sure I get out my disclaimers that obviously any of the videos that I use are within fair use. And this is just for education and entertainment purposes only, really entertainment purposes. Hopefully a little bit of education coming out our way. And obviously, even though I am a registered nurse trying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner here in the United States, I am not treating or diagnosing anything with foodie beauty. And obviously, for any of you who may find it difficult to watch people with disordered eating, any talk around mental health, anything around health, health topics, I do recommend that you take care of yourself first and just click away and, you know, just be aware, be aware, we are all going to touch on these topics. Okay, so let me get over, I'm going to make myself real small real quick over here uh, in the corner, and I'm going to actually bring up this uh, doctor. Uh, it was a, and I'll leave the links down below, uh, conversation, or I should say a, a presentation around the current multi-modality treatment of obesity, lifestyle interventions, medications, and so forth. And as much as Foodie Beauty wants to say she's 330 pounds, she would still be in a category of being obese. Um, I would need to obviously calculate it to her height um, to see if even at 330 is what she's claiming. Uh, she would be morbidly obese, uh, potentially. All right. So, like I said, she's always up. She's always wanting, she wanted to get that big old Simpson donut the other night. And there is a biological reason to do with that and to do with ghrelin and how that works within the body. And I'm just going to pick out the point here. Hungry anymore. And then around lunch, there's another peak. You'll go get your lunch, suppress your ghrelin. There's a third peak about dinner time, which is suppressed by eating dinner. Um, in the evening, there's actually a fourth peak. And if you happen to be up and not in your bed sleeping at midnight, you're going to feel hungry. And what are you going to do? You're going to go to the fridge. Um, that's your ghrelin speaking to your brain. Uh, I think we've all probably done that. So that's the story with ghrelin. Now, so he was actually, thank you, doctor, uh, showing, uh, back gastric bypass surgery in this, but I, like I said, I'll leave the link down below, but that's why we see Chantel sending Salah out in the middle of the night to get her food. So she doesn't do anything that is beneficial to her lifestyle. And so we can kind of anticipate that she's going to have issues around that. Now, I am going to speed her up um, to 1.5 because I want to get her quick. And then I have another doctor that I want to show. And I'm going to have to make sure I slow her down um, because she is going to be um, I don't want her sped up and I do want it to be pointing out the fact as to why she is having issues around her believing that she can take all these diabetic medications and be able to eat the way she is. And her need for water is because constantly she is having polydipsia or, you know, multi, you know, constant thirst 
because she's trying to get those blood sugars out of her system. And she looks like she's swelling up too. So all that water that she's retaining, if she is having any signs of heart failure, her heart is going to have a really difficult time pumping that fluid out of her body. And she obviously has disordered eating. Um, there are some other potential pathologies um, happening. And like I said, I don't treat a diagnose. Um, and really, in order to do a good psychiatric evaluation of anybody, you do need to get a good physical assessment. And there are many questionnaires that we would need to sit and have the patient complete in order to get an idea of what's really happening with the patient. Um, so that's why I'm just doing this in order to just kind of highlight. And then obviously anybody who's been diabetic type two or even has type one diabetes. I mean, look at this fried food and this, this crispy potato, all this carbohydrate, and then followed by a unhealthy coleslaw that's just swimming and mayonnaise and, and vinaigrette. And then she's got another, you know, type of creamy looking potentially i'm not sure but anyway let's 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 hear chantel try to lie to herself about how she is taking care of her health she obviously just does not care she's unwilling to change and it's pretty clear and obvious for six hours now and just been busy so i didn't get to eat my table might creep a bit there we go new background yeah so okay um bismillah today i have for you one of my new obsession meals it's chicken roasted, which it looks like fried chicken. I know it's actually not, it's roasted and broiled um, with coleslaw, garlic. Does it matter? It's got this crispy coating on it. I mean, it just, it doesn't matter. And then you've got more carbohydrate here. And like I said, this, so it doesn't matter, Chantel. None of this is healthy. None of this food is healthy. Uh, these are probably deep fried. So you are, it doesn't matter if it's roasted, roasted, fried. It's none of this is good for your uh, diabetes type two or your heart. And so I think she's just on a trajectory uh, to become completely um, disabled through her eating uh, at this time in my speculation. And that's a whole nother thing to look into. Um, she's just, just doesn't care. I mean, what I see all the time is this woman does not care about her health, anything to do with her health. She thinks anything to do with health is unappealing. Sauce, tomb, they call it tomb. And y'all know my husband is Syrian. And he, pickles. Me, but. Mm. No napkins. So this is a Syrian restaurant, so this is Syrian style roasted. Doesn't matter. And no napkins. I mean, we already know I have an issue around the napkins. All right, I'm going to try to let it play, but I'm just absolutely wanting to really point out that anybody who has been recently diagnosed with diabetes type 2, this is not the lifestyle that we would want our patients to have if they were to have successful outcomes in their health. She does not care about her health, in my personal opinion, at all, ever. Okay. Hey, stop licking the coleslaw cover. What the heck is wrong with you, woman? My cat. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe she is from the streets. And we have a Syrian kibbeh, Syrian style kibbeh, um, grilled kibbeh. Right. I've never tried this, so Salah said I have to try it. Mm -hmm. um, so well, I'm just going to try okay. a little bit. So there's like some kind of nut inside and meat. Okay. More fried food. Mm. Food detection. Oh, yeah. That's good. Wow. And the outside is bulgur, bulgur meat. Okay. Coleslaw. Mm. Potatoes. And it's very difficult for me to watch somebody who is is displaying when you hear go mm, yum and this. It's I, I feel that I'm just watching an absolute addict at work. Um, it doesn't matter what the addiction is, it could be a uh, addiction to uh, street narcotics, if you may. Um, it could be an addiction to cigarettes, to alcohol, to cannabis. It doesn't really matter. Her behaviors are no different. And she tries to always say, oh, you know, but you need food for life. It, no, you're uh, having disordered eating 
your addictions are always on show and it's actually quite disturbing to watch. Um, it's really disturbing. And uh, the fact that YouTube pays her, you know, and she has a platform to do it, is even more disturbing in my mind. But carry on, Chantel. Bit in the garlic. It's going to be hard to watch. It's going to be very hard to watch. And this restaurant, let me tell you, delicious. The quality, the freshness. Now, that doesn't look fresh. I'm not sure what seasoning they put on the coating of the chicken. I'm sorry. None of that looks fresh. I'm sorry. And that coleslaw looks like it came out of a huge vat of coleslaw. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, I'm not sure who she's catering this to. It's certainly not to anybody who's trying to manage their type 2 diabetes. Um, and we know she doesn't care. Keep going. But it's so good. It's not greasy like fried chicken. Oh, and I don't eat meat, Ooh. so this is going to be even more difficult to watch. I don't know. It's almost like a nutmeg. I don't know. Mm. I'll try to look it up and tell you. Just, oh, see, it's the face, it's the face, it's the satisfaction. It's you can see the face. She, you know, she's got fix in her face, her mouth. Sorry, and she's she's enjoying the fix. And once she gets the fix done, it's like she kind of crashes out, but she's getting a fix at this point. Six hours from eating, girl, that's nothing. I mean, that's what most people go between lunch and you know, breakfast a lot of time. So, I mean, she makes it as if she starved herself almost, which we know is not happening. Uh, I mean, you can tell she's starting to have sodium. I mean, it's horrific, to be honest. Really horrific. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just horrific. That's all you get. Well, of course, because you're an my addict. You can't is... share your food. Okay. Oh my God. It's just, and the way she, eat, well, I have her sped up, but still, she's got to beat the garland. Mm. She's got, it's all down her. She doesn't care. I mean, that's why it's so nasty. The garlic they use on. Oh, she probably can't pull out a napkin. <laughs> you guys like coleslaw? No. It's just, oh my gosh. I mean, the size of the spoon that she takes is just wild, to be honest. And no, I don't like coleslaw. It's generally, you know, not something that I would enjoy eating. I'd have to make it at home. And it's that type is has zero nutritional benefit. I mean, there's nothing just... <sighs> she doesn't care. It's so apparent. It's so obvious. And if she keeps in this trajectory, she's not going to live to see her 45th birthday, in my opinion. Just, you know, she won't. She cannot, her body can't handle this. The sodium and salt and everything in this, her heart won't be able to take it. Her heart will just not be able to take it. Not with having to manage the weight and all the, uh, metabolic disorders that come along with uh, diabetes type 2 I mean it's just it's just not possible I would not be surprised if she does not have heart failure at this time I, I, I'm not trying to be like the doomsday person over here or Dr. Death but she's not going to have a good trajectory if she continues to eat this way and with such little activity too her heart just will not be able to take it I guess she wants to go out with a bang, literally. These potatoes are so good. Like only giant chips or something. What, oh my three pieces of chicken. chicken. That's wild. Mm. See the face? Look at the face. The addict has got her fix. The addict has her fix. And I wanted to show you guys because I know you were wanting to see it. You know, food from another culture. No, um, and and if the, she thinks she's just going to come become bed bound, your heart isn't going to take it, sweetheart. It just isn't. Not at the rate you're eating and consuming. And I mean, you don't. Despite the filters, you don't look good. 
Anyway, well, let it go. <laughs> I stopped too much. Kuwait is very um, multicultural. Actually, there's more expats here. You're not a nice actual Kuwait user. Not a tourist visa. And a lot of the restaurants mm. are Syrian, like Syrian food. Mm. And this is one of them. I love that about Kuwait because there's Indian, Yemeni, Iranian, or Persian. I need to um, do this quickly. What is this thing? Fat. That's fat. So it just wiping. Just need There's Filipino. Hair. What else is there? I was saying, if she dropped uh, down to 330 pounds and has lost all this weight, then the reason being could be potentially she has colon cancer because that's the only thing that really causes rapid weight loss. And I doubt she's getting any colonoscopies, which are recommended starting at the age of uh, 40 uh, for certain guidelines. And I think 45 is now the guideline here in the United States. Um Somebody had mentioned that she's recently been taking uh, Lasix medications. Lasix is obviously a diuretic, also known as furosemide. And the reason for that is to, to be able to clear the fluid out of the body, being retained by either high salt intake or because the heart is starting to show signs of heart failure and you need to be able to help the heart move the fluid out of the body because the heart, if it's starting to go into heart failure, will start to shut down the gastric system, the kidneys and so forth. So she, if she is on that medication, and I saw she was on the Simvastatin. So that is, we know for cholesterol and it's not going to be able to combat this. That's a perfect expression for you, Chantel. All kinds while it's it's very disturbing to watch actually as a medical provider for me to watch this person take her health so that's the kind of food i love here like there's a lot of turkish food too she's no, no other conversation there's american fast food chains which are popular here that's all she talks about i don't know She tries to talk about other people never achieving anything, never doing anything, never going to other countries. Uh, I've lived in actually four different countries, Chantel, and I mean lived in the four countries, and I worked in three of them. One, I was too young. <laughs> but I took myself at the age of 23 and just at my 23rd birthday and ended up moving to Mexico City to work as a school teacher. I then met my ex-husband there, and we lived there, and then we returned back to, uh, or at least for me, back to London. And then we went back to Mexico City, and I lived out there for another five years until he and I divorced. And so I have worked, had immigration papers. So for you to be always assuming that nobody does these things uh, is really very arrogant of yourself. And I actually took the time to study Spanish and studied at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México of Spanish and have spent time working in various businesses and traveling throughout the country. And I obviously then moved from Mexico here to the United States. Obviously, I wasn't raised here in the United States, not my full life. It, it's a complicated history. But I have then re uh settled back in the u.s as an adult when i had lived here as a child so your arrogance is astounding and your lack of understanding that other people can have any other life beyond what you're achieving is um just something very special to you i guess <laughs> keep going just wanted to clarify i, mean, I like them. thinks nobody has a life but her but I get more excited to try like the new food as well. 
The only thing she's excited about. The crispiest chicken you'll ever have. Mm. I can't laugh at this because it's not funny for me as a health care provider. It's disturbing. Look at the eyes roll. I always, she's such a big back. <laughs> when I see the eyes rolling, that is something I used to see with people who have heroin addictions when they're getting their first time, the high hits them. Their eyes will roll back into their head. And so when I see her doing that, that's I just see the addict getting what they need. And that's it. I don't see somebody who's culturally enjoying a meal, not when it's like this, and the speed that she eats and the types of food that she chooses. It's just garbage food. I'm sorry. For she started licking the coleslaw lid. How to take that away? Like she literally... Look at it's this. very unhappy, obviously. Fresh food. Fresh, see that plate? That's fresh wet food I just gave her before because I knew she would want food. <laughs> but no, she wants to be a big back. And she has crunchies too. Well, you feed her from the table. That's what I you expect taught her. I did give her some chicken. Well, yeah, that's why she's staying oh, around. Yeah. So, <laughs> no animal behaviorist, that's for sure. My other cats that didn't love people's food, they weren't beggars. So I'm not used to it. Oh my gosh. This is skin. Oh gosh. That's so bad. That's so bad. I have to look up what seasoning it is. I'll try to put it somewhere. Nobody cares. Well, maybe somebody no. cares, but not me. It's so bad that that's what could be going supposedly from the chicken is the skin for the health, because that's just the fats there. <laughs> But that's exactly what she wants to eat. It's just vile, in it? my opinion. <laughs> Sorry. It's tough for me to watch. So good. Syrian food is amazing. Like, objectively, because I know you're thinking, you're fine. It's tough for me to watch because I know she's injuring herself physically. And I know what's going on in her body as she does all these things. So from a medical perspective, it's very difficult for me to watch her just so blazingly brazenly sorry not care about her health it's, it's very hard is your husband syrian it makes me very Number seriously nine. sad actually look how big these chicken breasts i've never had this at kfc so on the thumbnail you see a huge thing of chicken and potatoes and that's so I took some, obviously. Oh, yeah, no. Actually, I was talking about this in my live stream, and by the way. I doubt that. I, I'm sure she put that aside for secondsies later on, you know. Or maybe he did a plate because he went and picked it up for her. But he's obviously given up trying to do anything to help her manage her health. She's not spoken about going back to any doctors or anything. So she's, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 tragic really to watch and it's not going to be a very good end unfortunately i do lives mostly every night depends it's so like sure water um mm. to come say hi and hang out positive vibes only but mm. even positive trolling i don't mind Mm -mm. I like to laugh. But. No one laughing at the moment, girl. Um, what was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. Well, not surprised because your diet is not going to help your cognition. <laughs> I'm just, you know, and if you're starting to have heart failure. You know, your brain is going to start, and you're on the CPAP, your brain, your oxygen deprivation is going to actually affect your cognition. So this is, just as, this is hard to watch. It's very hard for me to watch this and even make commentary on it. Gosh, keep going. I'm drinking water. I've been bad in highlights and soda, regular soda. Yesterday, mm. the day before, I had like a cup of it. Mm. Not good. <laughs> and so, you think this is good? You think this is good? <laughs> oh, 
just because you de you denying supposedly the sugar water that 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 eating all of this, which is basically sugars to your body, is good. I, I think she seriously thinks that her diabetes medications, we're going to check in on this in just a second from another smart doctor, why what she's doing is just so inherently wrong. Well, picked up some diet, Betsy. This is not like healthy, but... No, it's not. It's still better for diabetics. No, no, I'm stopping you there. I'm stopping you there. And we're going to bring over this smart doctor and I'm going to make sure she's obviously at normal speed. She is. And we're going to listen to what they say um, and it's the management of diabetes in 2023 updates and future directions. Um, and so I'm going to make sure, uh, we get to the part where they talk about, um, the, the lifestyle part. So, all right, let me get into, here we go. So at the top, healthy lifestyle behaviors diabetes self-management uh, and support. And um, not just saying this for my benefit as the director of the Diabetes Teaching Center, but really understanding diet and exercise is so important to your patients. And I'm sure you do it. And I'm sure you do it well. For those of you who don't have the time to sit and ask about your patient's diet and go through their exercise regime, there are people who are specialized in doing that. And it's a referral that you can make um, to the diabetes educators. And they do an amazing job at really combing through and sitting with the patient and optimizing um, healthy eating behaviors and exercise with their diabetes. There, what I will say that, you know, over my experience with diabetes is that there's no way to medicate certain ways of eating. Like there are many ways to have a healthy diabetes diet, but um, there are some ways that just are not compatible and you can give them 10 different drugs and increase the dose to their utter max, um, but you will still not reach your A1C target unless some of these fundamental dietary practices are in place. So there, it's really important for optimal control. Yes. And we obviously know that Chantel does not care about having uh, optimal control. <laughs> so, and as we can see here, she is completely out of control, completely out of control. She is no control whatsoever. All right, keep going. This could be, I don't want this to be too long. I'm, gonna let it play out. I'm trying to drink more water. And if I want soda, it's going to be diet. Please, dog. This food is amazing. Excuse me. Okay. I'm getting to the point where I feel like I've said everything I need to say. I don't think she's going to say anything interesting at this point. Um, ah, my ring. I'm always so afraid to lose it after mm -hmm. losing my first one at the airport. Oh, she's oh, God. Me too. I was bawling, waiting for my flight. And... Uh, I felt so bad. Losing my wedding ring. Like, okay. I'm All sure right, Chantel. I think and I'm going to stop you there. <laughs> Let me see if she talks about anything more with her health. Um, because I'm having a really hard time wanting to watch this person actually eat. Uh, no, that's about it. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to enter there because I really have no interest in watching this woman take out her pancreas any further. To be honest, I really don't. I really have no interest in watching her take out her pancreas. All right, guys. So I wanted to keep it quick. That's what Chantel is up to today, continuing to take out her kidneys, her pancreas, her heart. But I did want to let everybody know that this coming Wednesday, I will be going live with our good friend Cheekbones. Um, we will be discussing uh, dialysis. <laughs> I think it's going to be appropriate at this time. And that's not something that uh, I think our friend Chantel ever wants to know about. And I wonder if she continues eating this way, if her heart is going to let her get to that. Um, but yeah, she obviously is somebody who really does believe that by displaying any type of healthy behaviors, by making any type of lifestyle changes, 
that she will actually be having um depriving herself she doesn't see that being healthy is anything that is beneficial she thinks about being healthy as something that is de you know depriving her of things um she sees it as being something that is obviously uh boring um and it's a mindset i mean if you don't change that your mindset around these things then you will never actually start to improve. So it doesn't matter how many times anybody tells her that you should eat better, you should act better. She is always going to be somebody who's going to turn around and say, oh, well, you know, that's not something I want to do. That's boring. It's, you know, and then she said all these things a thousand times. So anyway, let me make sure that I thank everybody um, who is part of my community, the good life and the best vibes and all of the support that you give me in order to be able to create this content and to get horrified looking at Chantel. And so I do appreciate that. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please hit the like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. Uh, all that type of engagement really helps me out. And I do appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.